God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, and we will read verse number 29. And it says, It is the bridegroom who marries the bride, and the best man is simply glad to stand with him and hear his vows. Therefore, I am filled with joy at his success. Amen. These are the words of John the Baptist. And he was talking about the difference between his ministry and Jesus' ministry. And he was clearly pointing out that he understood that Jesus had a superior ministry to his. And he said, look, I'm, I'm glad at Jesus' success. I take joy at his success. And that is something that uh, I believe would be a powerful help to us as we go through this life. Because many times uh, we get joy at our own success, but not at the success of others. And in fact, sometimes they, if we're not careful, uh, envy can seep in. And you can actually be envious of someone else's success, co-worker a neighbor, even a minister of the gospel. But we need to be like John the Baptist, and that is to be joyful at the success of other people. Because when other people are successful, particularly those in the body of Christ, uh, we understand that the hand of God is at work, that he is in the blessing business still. And that's good news for us, because if God blessed your neighbor, then the same God that blessed him or her can bless you. Amen. God is no respecter of persons. And so when we see brothers and sisters in the body of Christ being blessed and having success, we should take joy at it. Secondly, the Bible says that we should rejoice with those who rejoice. And so again, if a brother or sister is rejoicing because of a recent success on the job, in their marriage, in their family, at school, then we should take joy in that as well. Amen. And finally, I believe that not only should we take joy in other people's success, but I believe that we should do what we can, when we can, to help other people be successful. Because I believe it is this outward focus that truly is the heart of God. And yet many times when it comes to our own success, we become a little bit inward and we just want to be successful at what we're doing. Not necessarily to the exclusion of others, but our success becomes paramount. But I believe that John the Baptist, even though he had a thriving ministry, I believe one of the reasons why his ministry was thriving the way it was was because he yet understood that the ministry of Jesus uh, had to be successful and he wanted it. To be. He didn't view it as competition. He wanted the ministry of Jesus to be successful. And as he said in the scripture text today, he took joy at his success. Let us follow this example and let us take joy at the success of others. And where we can, let us be helpful to, uh, to others and help them get to a point where they can thrive in whatever endeavor they are undertaking. Because as we do that, I believe that we will truly capture the heart of God. And because we're planting that type of a seed, we are positioning ourselves to be even more successful. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged and remember that Jesus loves you and his love never